Hi guys, welcome to Hidden Gems. I'm your host Matt McCurdy, okay, Big Angry Dad 82. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing Agent A, A Puzzle in Disguise. Uh, it's a new um, a hidden objects and puzzle game. It's made by an uh, independent developer called Yakinko. And uh, <coughs> I, I normally I don't really play um, you know this genre very much, um, but I do like you know I like them sometimes. Like recently, I really enjoyed uh, My Brother Rabbit from Artifacts Monday, and um, I've really enjoyed this game. So, like the basic setup of it is um, you play as a secret agent, and you have to infiltrate uh, the lair, uh, you know, the, 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 the um, super villain, <laughs> and. Um, you, know, you you have to like solve a lot of puzzles to, to like open uh, secret rooms and things. It's all very kind of you know kind of James Bond sort of stuff. Um, so th the premise interested me, which is why I, I decided to review the game. Um, and I've really enjoyed the game. Uh, I'm just going to jump in just to show you some of the gameplay. Good evening, Agent A. Your new mission is in from headquarters. Meet Ruby LaRouge, an enemy spy who we believe is targeting our secret agents. We need you to follow Ruby, then locate and infiltrate her secret lair. Once inside, it is imperative that you uncover her plans. Oh, and Agent, do be careful. Miss LaRouge has a taste for dismissing agents such as yourself. kind of learn a storyboard cutscenes and that and, and the writing's yeah pretty good um pretty decent story in it and you know there's a bit of humor in there as well which is quite fun um and it, like these kind of games kind of remind me of kind of you know old kind of point and click adventures that kind of thing i used to really enjoy them um Again, like the premise of this, like being a secret agent and you know hacking different things and all that, that kind of interested me. So, like here's the start. So you, you know, like this, quite a simple one. You just knock over this plant pot to get the um, the key for the door. Um, you know, they make it quite easy to begin with, just to you know, sort of a kind of tutorial of sorts, just to kind of get you into it. And then there is, um, you know, a lot more kind of. Oh no, I've been a moron, I have to go, <laughs> I have to go here, <laughs> um, and open this, and then, like, this, uh, this bit, I didn't really see any kind of logic to it, I just had to kind of trial and error it, till I, I found, um, oh, the right combination. Um... Some of them I found kind of like that. They were just kind of random. Um, there didn't seem to be any sort of logic to it, really. Um, but some of them are. Um, the, the, the only thing I found uh, kind of fault with this is um, like some of the puzzles involve like entering like a numerical passcode or that, and um, you know you, you you've got to look at it in one room. You, you know you get the solution. Um, and then you, you might have to go back several rooms to get to the bit where you actually have to enter it. So unless you've got a really good memory, you know, you're not going to remember them. So I found myself using the, uh, I'm playing it on the Xbox. So I, I found myself, you know, um, using the screen cap feature a, a lot to, to take screenshots of them. Uh, so I could remember the codes. Um, so I've got, got this handle. Uh, so we're going to use this. Oh, and somewhere else. Um, this, remember. Yeah, you can't really do anything else. I've just I've started a new game here. I've finished the game. Um, but I might just jump around to different chapters just to show you sort of different bits. <laughs> Lock that door, so you've got to go in 
do several different things to um I don't think there was anything in here actually maybe in the plant pot no. no and then these you've got to find these four blocks with different shapes on them to to get in there you can go upstairs Got to get like a, a piano roll in there that's gonna give us the, the tune that we need to play. You get that later on. You can't really, you can play it, but you can't really do anything with it just now. Um, when you do get it, it's like it plays the tune and then you've got to copy it. Um, so that was quite good. So you can see a, a key in there, and then you think, oh, how do I get that? And then you go up, oop, go up these stairs. And we need a, we need a key. <laughs> we need a key to open that. Um, oh, yeah, she's locked the front door as well. <laughs> And this one, we need to find a screwdriver to open this. And then this causes fire there, we can't get it. We can go in here. And, um, yeah. This, you've just got to sort of line up the dots. quite easy um, there's a lot of kind of Tomb Raider puzzles like this where like one dial you know won't turn everything like another was will so you can line up oop you can manage to get <laughs> the um, yeah those two lined up and then you can just turn that one because that one won't move anything else Oh yeah, so the, the game's it's full of, you know, lots of great puzzles like that, um, and I've enjoyed them. There's a lot of variety in the puzzles as well. Um, I was just gonna, oops, just gonna back out to the menu. We'll jump to, we'll jump, jump over to chapter three just to show you, uh, you know, a couple of different bits in the game. Yeah, this, this was a good one, this actually. I uh, quite enjoyed this one. A minute. No, we can't. Oh yeah, there is. There's a button, yeah. yeah. And then you've got this, so you've got to get the shapes into their... You know... Into their right um, place. Uh, now... I think... It won't go up there. It won't go in there either. No. I think, yeah, to put it down there. And then. Can't remember how to <laughs> how to get that past there. Like, let's see, I mean that goes down there out the way, and then there. Just need to move this out of the way. Um, God, I can't remember. <laughs> Took me a while to do this one. This one was quite tricky.
You like. Oh god, I cannot remember. Um, <laughs> there you go. Well, <laughs> that was um, oh, an example of some of the more trickier uh, puzzles and that. You've got these, um, and and these like correspond to something else. When when you've solved that, you can like look like this room can change, and uh, you know, there's like two different forms it can take. Uh, <laughs> so it's sort of like a kind of secret room. Things kind of come out of the wall and stuff like that. I think now we can't go through the door. Uh, Jump to something else. I haven't got bloody clue. I can't remember how to do that that puzzle. <laughs> we'll jump to this bit. Just to show you a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it took me a while. So, some of the puzzles took me quite a while to figure out. You know, there's like five chapters in this, and uh, you know, you it could take you, you know, half an hour, forty-five minutes for each one, up to maybe an hour. If you, you know, if you get stuck for a few minutes on, on different puzzles, <laughs> um, and um, so, and uh, the the game it, it it's out um, on everything. I think uh, it's twelve pound fifty. Um, no, so it's out on. PS4, Xbox One. Um, I'm not sure about Switch. I'd have to look at that. But um, I, I, I assume it is out on the Switch as well. It's also out on mobiles. It's out on um, you know, Android and iOS as well. Um, I think it was originally on mobiles. And that, like with the console release of the game, they released Chapter 5. Um, so I don't know if they're going to release other chapters after this. Um, you know, they probably if if they do, they probably bring them out, and then they'd be like, you know, a couple of pounders DLC or whatever. Um. So yeah, I mean, f f you know, I really enjoyed the game for that price. Yeah, I thought I thought it was worth it. Certainly, um, something a bit different, you know. And um, as I say, not not so much as a, a, you know, I'm not much of a fan of the. Of the genre really but you know I did enjoy this one <laughs> that's Trevor a little mouse <laughs> right, yeah you can just break this and then oh no, no it's not that key it's not that key <laughs> Oh yeah, it might be for this one. That's what it was. <laughs> Say, my memory's terrible. I can't even remember what key does what now. <laughs> and it wasn't that. I, was, I finished it. Well, I've had it for over a week. I finished it, I think, at the weekend. And this is Thursday when I'm recording this. <laughs> so it's been a few days. And... You know, my memory isn't the best. So say, I, to, to remember the solutions and that, I used the, the, the you know, the, take a screenshot on the Xbox. Uh, but you, you can do that on all of the, the consoles and that, and um, you know, mobiles. You can take screenshots and that. So, not so much of a problem, but you know, it, may, it maybe would have been handier to have it, um, you know, in the menu or something like that. But that's all you've got for a menu. It's pretty basic. It's pretty much a mobile game type of menu. Yeah, I've got different language options, which is nice. You know what I mean? Um, you know, if you, if, 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 you, if you, you know, if you obviously if you don't speak English, you, you know, you, uh, you've got it in your your own language, um, which is nice. Um, but it's like even the audio options, it's just music on or off, sound effects on or off. It is basically mobile type. Um, options you've got, you know. Um, 
yeah, so I really enjoyed the game, and I think I'll give it a 8 out of 10. Um, it's a pretty good game for what it is. You know what I mean? It's not a bad price at 12 and a half quid. Um, so, yeah, so um, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my review. Uh, if you did, leave a subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you again next time. All right, cheers, guys. Bye, bye.